Greetings, friends. Jawless Paul here. We're playing Master of Orion. Now, if you are old like me, you may have played this game. Uh, not this version of this game, obviously, but uh, Master of Orion and Master of Orion 2 especially were uh, very, very core to my development as a PC gamer back in the 90s. And uh, so I thought I would try this game out and just see. I did download a mod, so I've, I've played a little bit. And then I looked up and there's this new mod that came out, a user created mod uh, with, with some balance changes. And so we're gonna try a campaign with those balance changes uh, in effect. And so we're gonna do a new match. Uh, yep. And so we have all these different Gaining races. from the cloudy planet Altair, <laughs> the proud Alkari are an old race Unfortunately, of alien hominids. we do have to listen Although to each of well these every single time. So I'll turn it down. They are. Uh, but. And will rarely back out of a fight. There's lots of different things. And so they these have all been adjusted over here. Harsh Ursa system. Um, to the Borothi. A ferocious warrior race. I'm, I'm, you know, they look, they look really cool. But they've added they've added things from every single every single one of these. Um, Deep in the cave with Koldon, the insect-like Klakon evolved. Meklar. Coexisting in a sprawling jumbled network. Yeah, so I'll have to I'll have to kind of read through all these. But yeah, there are there are cat lady. There's a cat lady race. It's it's pretty cool. <laughs> Cost of ships is lower than normal. That seems amazing. Uh, mineral. Supervision of the controller at Mentar, a sprawling network of Cylon communities. So this, this is is one of the one of the strongest races I think because of creative. Creative is so stinking good. Researching and then you get all technologies. So usually you have to make a choice with technologies, um, but with the Cylons you. We, uh, you know, they, they get all the options, which is pretty great. Extra population growth. Slower research. Low security. Large home with world size. I love this. Uncharismatic. Abysmally low birth rates have resulted Lava breather. of relatively few individuals with lots of experience. The oldest among crazy is known as the Keystone, ruler of the Silicoid. The Keystone. The All right, so there's just there's so many cool if things to look at. Darkest times of human history, strategists. Of the cons, Dawn, all over their home world. Civil unrest was mounting as society so part of me wants to just like make a, a custom race, but at the same time that almost seems that almost seems more boring. Pseudo civilization with a rigid caste system and immutable gender roles. So i here's what I've done so far. I played a little bit as the Clackon and failed pretty miserably. Then I tried then I started Mersion, but I hadn't really done very much. Then I tried Nolan. Um, and I got pretty far with the Nolan, but I'm, I'm, I'm interested in, uh, oh, wow. Yeah. This one is different. Let's see here. Assimilation power. Oh, wow. It's slower. Transdimensional. Whoa. Jump gates. Darker undertones clash with crazy friendly disposition towards other races. So to coexist with other races and rarely seek open conflict. My feeling is that maybe we'll go with the Mechlar. They look cool. With incessant chattering voices and they look really cool and they have this uh the cybernetic is pretty amazing. Less food construction construction, ship improvements. Slow assimilation, Many reside as industrialization, of the main combine cycle. toxic Rules condenser. They are industrials, 
capable of producing infrastructure and large fleets in a very short time. Cyber being. But the constant buzz of opinions and endlessly... Tundra and Terran planets into cybernetic planets. Make them erratic and unpredictable. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to go with the, with the Mechlar. I, I feel like the Mechlar uh, will, be, will be cool. Um... Obviously, each of them is very interesting in their own way. That's one of the things I love about this game. I played some of those other. Uh, I played some of those other games, uh, space games. I'm trying to think of, of like I played Sins of the Solar of a Solar Galaxy, and I played a couple other ones. And I liked them pretty well, but nothing ever came close to the joy that I felt when playing Master of Orion. So we're we're definitely gonna gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with Spiral. We'll go with a. Let's go with a medium forearm sp uh, galaxy. Whoa, with seven opponents. That's going to take a long time, isn't it? Difficulty will be normal. Maybe we should just go hard. Just so like, because otherwise aliens just don't attack you and you just get a, you just get a lead and then they just can never catch up to you. We don't, we don't want that. Planet density by star, normal galaxy age average. Oh, I don't know what, I don't know what. Average means. We'll we'll find out. Starting age is post post warp. Wow, look at that. Yeah, let's just go post post warp, I guess. Um hard game based classic. Alright, we'll we'll just let's go for it. Let's go for it. The Mechlar. I'm excited. I hope you're excited too. I hope that this that this series becomes something that um that some people enjoy. Bolted onto the surface of Mechlon. The Mechlar Combine's main cycle ran endlessly through uncountable revolutions. In time, a relative order was established over the dizzying cacophony of individual thought, as it became an orderly blend of truncated individuality, advancing the Combine's inscrutable objectives. This new, streamlined awareness came with a sudden realization, one that now turns the Mechlar towards the rest of the galaxy there is still much to be optimized much to be optimized um so this is kind of like the borg think about like the borg uh how cool the borg are <laughs> everybody loved the borg um but we are going to just explore okay gas giant can't do anything with the gas giant um, we're starting on a Terran. Now, we will at some point be able to turn this into a cybernetic planet, planet, I guess. Okay, and then we can't use this warp point because it's red. We need this special tech for that. Um, we're going to take all these folks and we're going to go over, over here. It's the only place we can go. Hopefully, we find something. Please select a new upgrade. I like this guy. This guy. This guy's cool. Okay, wow. This is so different than what I've been what I've been kind of used to. Okay, restricted to dark quartz, rare heavy metals. Okay. Buyout cost, or do we go with this crust prospecting? Restricted to poor, ultra poor. Wow. Yeah, they, this is totally different than the game that I was playing earlier. Nuclear missile or ironclad or destroyer. Oh, interesting. Two different types of two different types of ships that you can take. Huh. Hydroponic farm. I kind of feel like a hydroponic farm is pretty pretty important because you don't always get um, you don't always get a lot of food options. Okay, production, I think. Oh, okay, I see. We start with automated factory. That's great. Um, I'm actually going to start with a colony ship because you got to get them colonies. Uh, got to get those colonies going. You know what I'm saying? Got to get them going. This guy is going to go this way. Now, the movement is kind of separated from the turn. So, like, these guys have not moved yet. If I click move, then they move for the turn. And then if I push the next turn button, they still haven't moved. Um... So it's kind of like, I'm not exactly sure why. Toast! I love toast. <laughs> Sorry. Um, all right, so, but we're gonna, we're gonna change the, some of these planet names because that's, that's what's, that's what's good. 
the Jawless. This is going to be our home planet of the Jawless, of course. Um, we'll see. Okay, so scouts are quite a bit faster. It looks like... Oh! Oh, we've already got our first race. Greetings, friend. The humans. I am the president of the human republic. May the cooperation between our races be ever fruitful. Does that... That guy sounds familiar to me. He sounds like a Q from Star Trek. Anyone ever... Anyone watch Star Trek? Um, Q was a, was a pretty cool, uh, cool dude. If you ask me. Okay, that's just a scout. So we're not... We're not too worried about, uh... What is this? Toast is a barren, abundant planet. That looks like a gas giant, but I don't, Take I don't this know. warning to heart, for it may be the last you hear from me. Okay, I'm not, I'm gonna do what I want, friend. I shouldn't even. Yeah, no, you shouldn't, so just chill. A large tundra with abundant resources. Heck, yes, I'm colonizing that. Okay, Let's, we'll watch the cinematic this time, it's, it's fun. Yeah. I'm not going to be bullied, okay? Look, I mean, I'm not going to be bullied out of my own planets here. It's one thing I'm not going to be. All right. We'll start with, um, man, food. Food is pretty slow. We'll go with the automated factory and try to, man, get this population as quickly as possible. Man, it does take a long time. Okay, there's a barren, ultra-rich planet, so, and with high gravity. Okay, so high gravity, obviously, not the best. Uh, this scout is going to go this way, and the frigate, the frigate's going to go this way. And then you, I mean, there's nowhere else for you to go other than these two planets, or two stars, I should say. So it's probably this one is, is best. Let's go. Let's go. One one strategy. So it costs four hundred to buy this. One strategy would be to to buy this eventually, because waiting sixty eight turns to get. Yeah, they're starving if I don't put them on food. So that's no that's no good. One thing we could do is we could send a um, we should send send some transports to this colony so that we have um, so that we have extra people and then it can kind of get it off the ground a little bit faster um, but also the the first the first uh, this should be Nova the the system Nova right so Nova Prime it's a little bit of an odd name for a star system I admit I, I will admit it is an odd odd name for a star system okay so this must be okay this is soul so this is the this is the uh, human human homeworld they may be attacking me here which would be a real bummer uh if they did hamas are you gonna fight me you gonna fight me bro bomb catch huh okay well let's just move on let's go ahead and oh there's an anomaly go explore the anomaly you go here first. Hamas, this is a pirate colony? Yes, space pirates. Okay, it's hard to read that. when It's like red on red, but it says space pirates. Okay, you can go here. Oh, I have two, I have two of them. I should have... I should have uh, split these guys up. You'll go there. You. You will go here. And I guess you will go here. There we go. Now we have two. We have two there. Um, we are 11 turns from our colony ship. Uh, what we'll probably end up doing is taking our frigate. We'll come down here, explore this. Then our frigate will come back here and blow up. Uh, blow up the pirate colony and then once once they've blown up the pirate colony arriving we'll at the there. anomaly Ooh. 
your fleet. Nice. That's a lot more credits. So now, oof, I think I think we do this right away. I think that this is And now, ooh, the okay. news. Some ruins. In its aimless roaming through the galaxy, the <laughs> Nolam League has stumbled upon a heap of ruins of mysterious <sighs> origin. Man. Reports of bone-related skull bashing incidents remain unconfirmed. <laughs> okay. The little the little things that go along the bottom are are quite quite hilarious. Okay, you're gonna go here, actually. Oh, you can't go there. Oh, they've got a colony. Oh, they haven't colonized yet, I see. Oh, can I blow them up? Can I blow up their colony ship? No, I can't. Oh, they're gonna fight me. Can I retreat? Retreat? Come on, why can't I retreat? They blew up my frigate. Now that, that is actually not an act of war since I was in their system. It's not fair. It's not fair, uh, but it's the way, it's the way that it goes in this game, which is a real bummer, but, uh, but yeah. <laughs> so this is a toxic planet, a radiated planet. Okay. We're going to go this way. Um, that, that's real unfortunate, right? Like that's... Not, not ideal at all. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and buy, buy this thing. We we kind of had a windfall there with the uh, uh, windfall with that that anomaly. What's a bomb catch? I can't build frigate. Oh wait, no, there's a frigate. What's a bomb catch? What does a bomb catch have? Oh, it's just got a bomb and a. Uh, point defense laser cannon. This has got neutron blaster and point defense laser cannon. Okay. So probably, I mean, we need we need frigates because I think that um, I get the feeling that the humans are not real real not happy with us, and we may end up at war with them fairly soon here. We'll just have to see what's this. Oh, it's swamp and it's abundant. Okay, so this is probably where the humans are gonna go. Scouts have like no um no attack capability at all. Let us not exchange pleasantries, but rather stick to business instead. Why don't we, we can you give me can you accept the Mechlar embassy? Can you? I'm gonna decline this. No. Oh, I shouldn't even. I mean, I wanted to just like renegotiate, but I guess not. I guess that's not something that I could do. <laughs> this could be this could be over uh, a little bit quickly here, but we'll see. It depends on how how AIs often get started a lot faster than than I feel like we do, but. Um, Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how we do here. That's a toxic planet. I'm come here. An event requires the overseer's attention. Okay, I don't think we need pollution cleanup quite yet. We'll go with the uh, hydroponic farm. Research complete. The combine has been successfully upgraded. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, we should probably do the Xeno Diplomacy. Overseer. <laughs> A winner is me. Okay, so the question is... The question is, will that actually help our relations? I, I don't... I don't know, honestly. It's a frigate. Where's, where's our colony ship? Has it not shown up yet? Would move volcanic. Fine. Oh, there's a the colony. There it is. Ibis Prime gets picked up by the humans. K 
Okay, but I think that's their first, that is their first um, colony. I see, we colonized one star system away from the human homeworld. But listen, that's the first planet we, that's the first zone we saw. You could have gone this way. I can't, I literally can't go any other way. So don't, don't get upset with me, you big jerk. What is this? Radiated. Toxic, radiated, and volcanic. That is not a not a nice star system. We are going to have to fight the humans. I, I'm feeling more and more that... Welcome um, to GNN. Which gigantic amoeba. Horror strikes the galaxy once again as a colossal space amoeba raises its ugly head. <laughs> or tentacles. Or whatever the twisted designs of... F All right, perfect. Where's the... Do we not have a, we don't have the space amoeba. We do not have the space amoeba. Okay, we may end up coming here. This, I, I would love, I'd love to grab this planet, but I have to, I have to uh, blow up. I have to blow up. Oh, natural wonders. What does natural wonders mean? I'll have to, I'll have to blow up their colony to find that out. Blowing up the colony is very, uh, it's actually very important. Did we find out what this was? Oh, no, that's, that's their home world, right? Okay, okay, nice, more connections. So I think getting here is going to be critical, actually. Because otherwise we are shut, we are, we are cut off, right? That is not good. You don't want to be cut off. What's this? Oh, it's tropical. It's tiny, but it's tropical. Low gravity. Low gravity. I think that affects our production, but we can get a we can get a gravity generator if we need to. This might be where we go. It's barren but rich. Air and rich. Okay, 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 okay. So this is a little bit, a little bit scary. So the frigate, the frigate's pretty important. Um, I think we need to, uh, as much as I want to, I need to like develop. I need to develop this stuff, but I also need to build a bomb catch so that we can actually blow up the pirate base. You're going to go here. You're going to go here. Man, the humans already hate Let us. Let us not exchange pleasantries, but rather stick to business instead. Shall we? Okay, fine, fine. Okay, that it was a little bit better. I'm glad you've come around to seeing things our way. So that makes them a little that makes them neutral. Beam attack, missile attack. I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm not, I'm not super keen on these uh, kind of like, just like space combat leaders. I love the fact that they have leaders. Like, that's that was one of my favorite parts of uh, of the game back in the day. But, yeah, it's been a while. Space monster detected. Ooh, there's the space amoeba. Okay. Uh, so I think we're okay so long as we don't try to go to one of the planets. If we go to one of the planets, it will... It will eat us. It will try to eat us. A bomb catch is completed. Perfect. Get going. And I am going to, I mean, I need to make a frigate, I think. I'll make a frigate, and then we will, uh, yeah, as much as I would like to go that direction, I don't believe I can. I don't want to, I don't want to lose that, lose that thing. Man, we got even more. 
What's this? Baron Ultra Poor. But it's got gold. That's something. Alright, my colony ship is just chilling. That's a frigate. Doggone. Uh, I feel like I need to just buy this frigate. I'm just gonna stay here. I'm afraid they're gonna declare war and blow up my colony ship. I'm a little nervous about that. Okay, they did not. Thank heavens. I think, uh, I think if I go like that, then they're together, yes. Now, I'll wait, I'll wait for the bomb catch to come, to come before I head to Hamas, but I am going to go to Hamas and colonize there, I believe, first, before I come down here. All right. Let's see. I think this is too good. This is too good to pass up. The buying out. Research complete. The combine has been successfully upgraded. Being able to buy things out is is pretty amazing. Colony base. So these are, wow, we had a long time for that. We're going to go for the missiles here. It's a long time to get there. And then we're going to go research lab. I think that um, we're good. We're good there for the time being. Barren abundant, barren poor, barren ultra poor. So we could go, we could go to this barren abundant eventually. That'll we can terraform that. Let us see. not exchange pleasantries. Yes, but trade, trade is that so was a wise important. choice. It may yet be worth dealing with you again. We get a lot of money from trade. You oh, there's pirates. Okay. Now, will we get blown up? We might. Uh, please don't blow me up. Ah, you don't blow me up. Okay. I thought maybe we could sneak past him, but uh, that was that was my mistake. We cannot. We could not sneak past him. Okay. We're still growing. Oh, but morale is down. Come on. I guess we go with... Now, is that just because of tax rate? Okay. There's, there's The tax rate is a problem, I guess. Go automated factory after that. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. I just went through the same I just went through the same thing. We'll come back there later. Okay, so now now we got the whole fleet here. Let's go to Hamas. It's got natural wonders. I mean It's not the best planet I've ever seen, but I I need that connection to get down here, I think. I think that that's important. I didn't see how big, I did not see how big the, or how strong the amoeba was. That's one thing I'm not sure about. Hmm. Yeah, pirate fleet detected, and here it comes. Hmm. 
we're just gonna go over there, wait for the pirate to come to come through, and then we'll and then we'll go double back, and hopefully miss the pirate altogether. Okay, let's see how strong this guy is. Sixteen two oh three, so really good defenses, but but very low. Uh... Oh, they already took it out. Oh, I see. Well, then let's colonize it. What are natural wonders? Rob bonus. Yes. Here we go. It's a tundra. It's a tundra, right? So it's the the population is is going to be slow, slow building up, but that's okay. Oof. <laughs> This is not good. So uh, uh, for a while, for a while, things are going to be, uh, it's got low Welcome gravity, so we'll have to, to wait. But, mm. Galactic News Network. Yeah, first to three. Galactic neighbors should take heed as. Yep. We got three planets and we're building an automated factory and then we'll probably go Let's get going down here. We've got lots of production, which is great. Let's go with this research lab. Can I come here yet? Is the pirate has the pirate left? I'm hoping that they've left. But I guess we don't know. Oh, there's the pirate. Oh, come on. Didn't the pirate... The pirate had plenty of time to leave. It had plenty of time to leave. What a jerk. I feel like... I feel like I need to build more... More scouts, right? Like, but that's pretty important. Okay. So So this is this is a stronger higher defense and this is higher attack. I think we want higher attack, right? More HP, less space, more speed. Oh, more speed? Oh, I see, I see. Then we want the destroyer. Research complete. Perfect. Um, sure. We'll add the miss. Yeah, we're adding missiles basically. That's good. And now we have the destroyer. I'm gonna edit this real quick and add nuclear missiles. Um, although maybe maybe not maybe not. We'll, we'll cancel that for now. Please should I make a new should I make those those ships? Probably. Mineral scanner. Let's go. Let's go. With shields. Shields are pretty good. All right. Um, as far as food goes, we're we're pretty solid. I wish I wish that we had a. Uh... Middling escort vessel. <laughs> seven nineteen seven thirty six. Man, it's not. It's not much stronger. Is that because of the missiles? Holy cow. Maybe we should make a civil transport. Well, here's what we'll do. We'll make a frigate. Let's add a civil transport to the queue. And we'll send the civil transport over here to Hamas. Because, yeah, we're just... 
I mean, we'll we'll buy this probably right away, but but good heavens, good heavens. So yeah, like these these are both tundra. They're gonna grow very very slowly. This is what we really want. We want this tropical abundant. We'll flag it. Hydroponic farm to get growing a little faster. Probably. All right, this is gonna be the end of our episode. Um, obviously, doing pretty solid start i guess we're gonna go down here hopefully take out or maybe it'll be down here the the pirate uh the pirate place <laughs> and then we're gonna go and uh and then hopefully colonize here and then potentially these are all barren but maybe there's something good down here we'll we'll colonize there we don't want to colonize too fast because then people really start to hate us um but but yeah We're getting three gold from trade treaties, which is not a whole lot, but that's okay. Sounds super creepy. But anyway, friends, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. We'll definitely have more episodes uh, coming up, but let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this and if you want to see more. Catch you in the next one.